What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the continuation of JYJ versus Shine. Got JYJ over here in the top left-hand corner. Shine down in the bottom right. And so far in this series, if you haven't watched that video yet, I do encourage you to go back and watch. That was a great, great series so far between these two. We've seen a ton of different maps. Now we're here on Invader. Every single map here is going to be different. And uh, so far, JYJ's won two out of the three. The Shine only taking down the first one. We'll see if Shine can get any more wins on the board here. He hasn't really been pulling out anything too crazy. Mostly just playing straight up versus JYJ. And JYJ's already pulled out an eight racks. He's done some pressure play. He hasn't done mech or anything like that, but he has mostly... Uh, been breaking Shine with his Marine Medic play. And seems to favor the four barracks play uh, just lately here. Ooh, 10 pool. Okay. So we are going to switch things up now. Shine not happy about how that eight racks went. Goes for the 10 pool. And I'm, I'm, I'm interested in this build here and how it's going to play out for Shine. He hasn't scouted with the drone yet. Just keeping these drones. You can see there's four drones for three patches here. So he's making sure that... His drone is always going to a patch that is open rather than a patch that has a drone at it already. It's just a little bit of juggling that you can do to try and make your mining a little bit better. You can also hit uh, return cargo on your drone right as it turns around from this patch and you can get a, a bit of a mineral boost going. So I'm not seeing too much of that from Shine, but he is getting the correct drones to the patches and now he's got his hatchery down here just as the SCV comes in to the natural and looks like just one marine going to be produced here a beautiful wall in from JYJ marine should pop out on the outside here and these six lings although or five lings I guess six one here going to be chasing the SCV in the ramp they're going to be completely denied and this is already a big build order win here for JYJ you know he should get his command center down, no problem. SCV, probably gonna have to run around and, oh wait, there's actually, there is a little tight corner here. So uh, brilliant there, bringing the SCV down just in time to block. I didn't think that this was a passage that you could get through. That is a very, very small little location there, but he does manage to block that with the SCV. It doesn't take any damage from these early six lings. And just overall, Shine is kind of now behind. He does have a lot of links to work with that he could use to try and pick off this SCV. If he brings them all together and kind of hunts down this SCV, then he'll leave some ambiguity on the map here for JYJ. So JYJ won't know exactly what's coming. And that could leave something, some sort of open... Uh, question here as to what shine is doing and maybe he can find an opportunity with that do some sort of wild drop into the main or a lurker push or something we'll see what happens because so far shine hasn't revealed anything at all just a two racks play here from jyj as well He's going to be getting that academy so not going for a plus one an early plus one this game rather this time just going for the most standard two racks play because he knows he already has that advantage and how can he push it further here is well he's going to get out a bunch of marines and he's going to get a couple of medics and go across the map and force some sunkins out of shine and that's are going to hurt the economy here of shine even more than going for the 10 pool or the yeah the 10 pool with the six lings did that 10 pool into six lings really slowing down shine in a lot of ways but this will hurt him even more is when this uh first couple of medics pop out and he comes across the map to deal that damage now shine should see everything here he's got the overlord in position he's got a third hatchery on the way the 2.5 hatch with the hatchery actually a bit sooner than it was on la Campania, which uh is a good sign here he didn't take as much damage in this game as he did in, in that one. There you go. Scan here. He sees the uh, gas. And he's going to start to move out here immediately, dropping two sunken colonies. Not much of a choice about that. 
really does need those two sunken colonies just to survive here. As the spire is finishing up, the two sunkens will be done here. So you're going to try and get a marine kill if you can. Right as he's walking up the ramp. Oh, oh, wow. A great pick off there on the medic. One medic down. You're never going to break these two sunken colonies now. Yeah, you need those two medics to be able to have any shot of breaking this. He even loses a marine there. Really nice stuff from Shine. You hardly ever see Lynx get a pick off like that. That's such a high value pick. Uh, in these low situations, low money, low uh, overall uh, supply situations, right? We're pre-50 supply here. And he got a medic with just four marines, or four four lings there. That's really, really good. Uh, and so he's going to come across the map now with his first few mutas that have popped out. And we'll see what he decides. Oh, evolution chamber. Okay. All right, very interesting evolution chamber dropped uh, right as these mutas are hitting the field. And we're going to go right into, I think, a carapace upgrade and maybe off into uh, ultralisk. So maybe we're going to take the high ground here and put sunkins on that high ground. That could be a possibility. Could also take bottom left, try to sunk in that and just hold off until he can get straight up into ultra. Diving in, getting a few kills here. Shine's mutilus control overall in this series has been really fantastic. He's been picking off so many SCVs in every game. You know, breaking positions, being hyper, hyper aggressive with these. He hasn't lost a mutilus yet. He should be losing one soon, though. This one, very, very low. Just 5 HP. There it goes. First mutilus does fall. But great damage here for the first few swipes from these mutas. I don't see a queen's nest yet, and there really should be one on the way here. There's a queen's nest at the front. Okay, so queen's nest is on the way. Marines are pushing across the map. Where is the base going to be taken? I think it's going to be taken down here at the bottom left, if I had to guess. Right now, we've got a fire bat here on high ground, so that's not going to be a viable position to take. Look at that. JYJ <laughs> realizing... What the course of action here should likely be scanning the bottom left hand corner doesn't spot a hatchery but there is a drone on the way down there so a little bit premature on scanning that bottom left but it's fine so i'm gonna take that now more mutas popping out more sunkins coming up as well does shine actually want to put you know two more sunkins here and go for a dive into the main maybe that's the play we're almost here at uh uh, starports starports are being produced right now the marine medic force is kind of far back on jyj's side of the map maybe it's a good time now to try and fly and hit the main there's still quite a few turrets up here we've got some reinforcements waiting at the natural so maybe that's not advisable but hive has now started we're progressing here towards that all-important ultralist tech what is going on down here? We haven't taken this base yet. Are you kidding me? This base needs to be on the way right now. That is a pretty big mistake here from Shine. I think that might really cost him as time goes on. He's focusing here on producing as many mutas and lings as he can. He really needs to start that hatchery though in the bottom left so he can get some uh, sunken colonies on high ground. Sunken colony on high ground super super important he scans this he sees it drone down there he's just gonna break off a couple of marines i imagine yeah one marine broken off just gonna send that straight down to the bottom left looks like shine knows about it does he chase that down and kill it no he doesn't instead he's just going to bring the mutas around once again there's some good ideas here from shine but i don't know if this is gonna work out for him and he's really been slow on taking this third base and his hive is almost done. He needs to start pumping out uh, Ultralist Caverns. Probably one Ultra Cavern, maybe two. And then go into his upgrades ASAP. Plus, no plus two on the way, by the way, either. You're supposed to start plus two armor immediately. Immediately when the plus one armor is done. And look at this. Shine not making that plus two armor. This is not looking good for him right now. Even though he's doing quite a bit of damage over here, I'm kind of not paying much attention to this. Look at this. We've got 
Marines heading down. This Marine's been pumping away, pumping away at that hatch for a long time. These Marines are gonna get down there, and they actually should be able to kill this as well. If he hits the stim button, then goes for it. Oh, a bit of a mistake here from JYJ. He should run up this ramp and really target fire the hatch as quickly as possible, because the mutas are right here. Ooh, here they are. 200 HP on that hatch. If he had just, tar if he had ran up the ramp and targeted that down, JYJ would have had that. So a bit of a mistake on both sides here. Where is that plus two armor? Oh my goodness, this is huge. This is such a huge mistake. Such a huge mistake here by Shine not getting that started. We've got Adrenal Glance. There's no reason not to have this right now. He's got so much money. 800 and 1,300. Like, how are we not starting this upgrade? Okay, Ling's gonna get on top of these Marines. Whoa, what is going on here? JYJ just not paying attention. He's gonna lose all of his marines and wow that's a lot of lings right now that is a lot of lings heading towards the natural what do we have back at home to deal with it two fire bats pop out two fire bats will actually make a big difference here lings getting cleaned up pretty successfully by these fire bats lings trying to run in not dealing any damage here there's still a bunch of lings in the wings they haven't been sent in yet there's the plus two armor Finally, oh my goodness. How is this so late? Six drones in production. We've got another base going to be taken, I think. No, not going to send that out. Okay, sending a base maybe up to the top right. Maybe he wants to go over here. There's a fire bat there still, so I don't think that's going to work out for him. He's lost all of his mutas. Every single muta's gone down. Here's the Nidus canal here in a pretty good spot. It's hard to hit that, but you can hit it from, with tanks down here if you bring tanks. What do we have back at home for JY and Chase? Getting that science vessel production really rolling here. Starting to kill off his own turrets so that his SCVs can mine a little bit more efficiently. Um, now that we know that there's no more mutas on the field, might as well get rid of those. Seven ultras are in production, but you know what? This is just not going to work out well for Shine, man. Look at him. Plus two is about to finish here. JYJ has been keeping up on his upgrades. What were you up to? Shine making nine ultras, but you've only got plus one armor. Seems a little bit crazy to me, but we'll see if he can wipe out this army. Maybe he can get the third base operational and buy enough time for more, uh, uh, four more upgrades to finish, four more ultras to pop. Another base is going to go up here on high ground. JYJ is playing pretty passive right now. He really doesn't have map control here as we're getting into these ultras. But I think this is the right way to play it. You want to have the ultras run into you. And you want to get preemptive irradiates on them as well. But if you scourge are out here. So you can't like just run out the vessels and find these ultras out on the map and expect to get the vessels back home. That's a really good play from shine to actually have a good clutch of uh, of these uh, skirts ready to go you want to have like a full group or nearly a full group maybe 10 uh scourge and then when you attack in you just clone the scourge on all of the science vessels and try to make sure that they all die uh when you take this engagement so at least you know if you don't clean the whole army all this all the science vessels are gone and then, you know, your next round of Ultras will be a lot more powerful. Okay, we're getting coming to a head here. Let's see what happens with this attack. Gonna come try to come forward looking for some Irradiates here, but not gonna give it to him easy. Here we go. Radiates gonna come down. There's one. Aw, oh, he th dropped three. Three Scourge on one Science Vessel. So he only gets one Science Vessel, but more uh, Scourge are coming. Here we go. He could get some more good connections here one goes down two goes down three goes down very nice there of course the irradiates are going to be painful he needs to split these up a little bit split these up they're actually doing so much damage to each other that's painful but he lost the base here and he took quite a bit of irradiate damage and the marine medic ball is looking insanely big now we don't have any defiler. We don't have anything like that. We're just going to be fighting straight up against all these marine medics. Pretty good kills here to start things off. This ultra is going to die for free. Plus two is done. Plus three is just about here. So we're even on upgrades right now. This is the moment 
where Shine could potentially hold and take a big win here. Here we go, running into these sunken colonies. That's a lot of marine fire. Taking out the sunkens pretty darn quick, and the ultras are not here yet. And they come from behind and the front. Big surround here on a lot of this, but quite a few of the sunkens are already dead. Ultras hitting the back here, but D-Matrix comes down to keep them alive. Ultras just getting cut down. Hitting the D-Matrix Marines over and over again. And it looks like JYJ gonna push through to the win. Damn, the mistakes here from Shine in each of these games have been so avoidable. So simple. But they've been so devastating. Missing the Carapace upgrade this round. Absolutely unforgivable. You cannot win a game like this. You cannot win a game where you're going crazy zerg when you're just rushing ultra unless you get your <laughs> unless you get your carapace upgrades on time man it's just not gonna work it's not gonna work out for you trying to build emergency sunkens here on the high ground but you can see he's just cutting through now plus three is about to finish all of these sunken colonies are gonna go down and gg is called shine taps out and jyj takes game number four all right on to game number five here we are on retro with Shine in the bottom right, JYJ in the bottom left. Shine learning some hard lessons here, possibly, you know, relearning those lessons that should have been learned a long time ago. Gotta double check your evolution chamber when you're going for, especially the ultra build. Quick ultra build, like how, how do you ever win if you miss that upgrade? It's just not going to happen, uh, especially not against a player. The quality of JYJ, uh, you got to double check. You got to double check. It's, I mean, it's easier said than done when everything's going on, but it's, uh, it's just so necessary to the build. There's, there's no excuse for not having that done, for not making sure that that's on the way. And now we've got another 8 racks build here from JYJ. JYJ gonna put on that pressure here once again. And will we see another 12 hatch? Oh my god, he didn't go for the 10 pool again. You know, he, it put him behind last game. And so he's decided against it this time. Ugh. Oh. <laughs> That's got to be frustrating. I feel like JYJ kind of playing his the, the mind games on the on his opponent right now, truly. Because remember, guys, they played all of these games back to back to back. He saw the 10 pool last game, and he thought, uh, that put you behind. You're not going to do it again this game. So I'm just going to go for an 8 racks once again, and it's going to pay off huge, huge here. Looks like he gets a couple hits on that. Maybe one, two hits, two hits on this Marine. And that's some good damage to start this off. This drone will head back all the way into the main base. And I hope that uh, we're going to see quite a few workers get pulled here by Shine this time. Only two have been pulled out so far. And again, the very distant bunker here for JYJ. We'll see if he can get another three, four kills this time. I would be surprised if that were to occur, but... Here we go, six drones now. Ready to fight here. They do want to get by so that they can cut off the reinforcements. However, JYJ doing a good job pushing this away. Six lings on the way now. Eight lings here, going to be popping out. Secondary bunker a little bit closer, going to be set up. But the lings are about to pop here. Lings are about to pop. And once they arrive, ooh, drone here from behind gonna be able to shut down this oh does lose one drone that's a bit of a yikes here for shine shine going to target this bunker but the bunker is being repaired so that's not really that great of a move and looks like he might get that oh he doesn't get it he's got to target down the scv target the scv target the scv with the there we go he does target the scv finally again he has to target it with the sunken there we go getting this getting rid of the scvs good job getting rid of these marines and forcing this back he gets the last marine as well that's huge now he can surround and kill this bunker without much trouble as soon as the scv comes back you do have to target that though 
hopping back inside, being so annoying there. JYJ gonna be cleaned up. He gets one more Ling. Oh my goodness, JYJ. <laughs> what the heck was that? Sniping that last Ling with his SCV there. That might be one of the most impressive moves I've seen with an SCV uh, in all my casting. That is uh, pretty darn crazy that he was ma he managed to uh, focus down the one injured Ling that was below 5 HP with the last remaining breath of that SCV. Nice hold here by uh, Shine, but I, I feel like the moral victory right now to JYJ, who's just pulled off one of the most ridiculous... <laughs> One of the most ridiculous moves I've seen with an SCV anyways. I won't go on about that anymore, but just incredible. Just incredible. Droning up here is Shine, and I don't see a layer. So what are we going to see here now? There's the layer, albeit a bit later than you would expect, which is fine because it wasn't eight, eight racks. Everything's been slowed down quite a bit. He's going to have a third base here very, very early on. And how is he going to utilize that here is the question. What type of tech is he going to pull out? Sending a few drones over here to the third. Going to start to saturate that ASAP. Second gas here on the way before the layer is even done. It's looking like a spire play once again, albeit a, a much later spire play than usual. And that might give an opportunity here for JYJ to come over and attack this. I guess if you just put a sunken wall here, whether they come up this ramp or this ramp doesn't really matter. It's not as good as having sunkens right at the top of the ramp, but It'll still be strong. We'll need a couple of sunkins though. Spire's just started. And we've already got Stim almost finished. So this is two racks move out. It's going to be scary. Ooh, going up to four racks once again here is JYJ. Remember, we only lost one drone from that eight racks. Seems like the gas was slowed down quite a bit though. Shine not able to get that rolling while dealing with all the pressure. Sunken here. Okay, he's going to put the sunken right there. Interesting. Maybe like two sunkens here too. Or maybe just another sunken right there. I'm not sure. We'll see what he decides here coming up. JYJ is just about ready to move out. Hydralis Den is now on the way as well. Let's see where that is. There it is. Hydra Den in the natural. And... Plus one is just about done here. So a great build from JYJ to follow up his eight racks. He's going to have a ton of power on the map here. And he'll have total map control until enough mutas get out that can actually shut down this army. And that's not going to be for a while considering how much marine production we're about to have here. Perfect timing on these turrets as well. JYJ looking stellar right now in this game. Even though it's quite a strange timing you know we usually have turrets down uh, about 5 30 to 6 minutes so when you're going to want to throw them down but here he's dropping them about 7 minutes 30 so actually the slowness of the layer tank here really working to jyj's advantage he's going to be able to hit this timing with his plus one finished and all four racks pumping away here. Late turrets and all. He's feeling very, very good right now. I can assure you of that, but... Maybe Shine can still pull this one together. He didn't lose many drones. He's got his third base up very, very early. And just, you know, even though his lair tech was a bit late... His Lurker tank is very fast. He went right into that Hydralis Den. He got the Lurkers right away, so he's going to be able to defend on high ground here. And he should be able to build a Queen's Nest here and go into a late game. There it is. Queen's Nest, Evil Chamber dropped at the same time. With two Lurkers and two Sunkens on high ground, you're not going to break this. 
And with three lurkers here, you're not going to break that. So we, this is actually a great play against what JYJ's done. Five racks play, right? He's gone right into five racks here. Now he has the factory done. He's got the star points on the way. But this huge marine medic force that's been put together by JYJ, is, it's just not that useful in this type of situation. Good job hiding the lurkers here. Cheyenne pulling out every trick in the book. Trying to find a way to climb into this game. But a serious worker advantage here to JYJ right now. And he might even just use this time with the, you know, now that he's secured the, the main of the map, the middle of the map here. He's got map control. He's going to spread out Marines everywhere to check for hidden bases. And he could probably just take his own third base now here at the center left. Just power up even further as Shine tries to get into his hive and you know, adding on more hatcheries. It's prime time here for JYJ to just take this advantage that he's been gifted and, and kind of roll it forward. We'll lose one supply depot here. Might lose a second. The glaive's bouncing in a pretty advantageous direction here. Gonna kill this... Uh, turret without actually having to engage directly gonna jump on top of this turret as well another turret going down here he can hide it behind the mineral patches now and just hit as many SCVs as he wants taking a bit of a worker advantage for the first time in this game shine really dealing a lot of damage here in this bottom left corner and has not been pushed away just yet so many SCVs have gone down here look at that dropping them all the way to 41 a fantastic usage of these mutas, but look at this. Gonna catch a bunch of the mutas on the fly home. About well, four or five of them did end up going down, so that was a great catch by JYJ, despite losing so much. Managing to find a way to recoup some of those losses. Drop ships out here on the map. The mutalist number has been reduced, so maybe he can get in somewhere. And get some damage going with a drop. Drops and maybe going to hit the center right. Where are they going? Oh, he spots it. He spots the drops. The drops have been spotted. Lings and Lurkers moving. Scourge here to defend as well. Going up to the center right. Going to go after this Nidus Network. Nidus Network needs to be targeted right now. Lurkers should be diving through there any second. Where are the Lurkers? <gasps> no. Where was that Nidus? Oh my goodness, where was the Nidus Canal? I guess it wasn't connected yet. Looks like he's going to go after the drops. Can you get the drops? Oh my god, these Scourge are just the dumbest things on the planet. Will not connect there. That is ridiculous. And he loses his third gas. I think this might be a real problem here for Shine. He's going to lose this hatchery. Are you kidding me? No way he loses the hatchery, right? Oh my god, he loses the hatchery. He can't even kill this dropship. What am I watching right now? Oh my goodness, this is so, so bad. This is so, so bad for Shine here. Looks like he will clean up this drop at least, so killing all these marines. But he lost his third base, man. I guess, you know what, this isn't the worst position because you are going to be able to reset your hatchery here and you can take the gas and mine pretty efficiently right here with three drones i think so it's not the absolute worst in the world but good god does it suck it really really sucks right now did he forget to move these lurkers again the lurkers underneath the overlord i feel like that's a theme <laughs> i think we're seeing a theme here in shines games forgetting about those those uh, few units under there, under the Overlord, that could be used to, to, to save him in the, uh, times of you know duress here. With the bases being attacked. Nidus Canal going to go up at the front? We're putting the Nidus Canal at the front. Okay. Lurker's going to make their way over here to the center left. Nice spread and shot there. Does lose quite a few Marines, but... Stops the Lurker attack. Desperation Lurker attack there from Shine. Not working out too well. 
He has the mining going once again here at the third, but things just have not been going well. A lot of kills from that one irradiate, killing actually a bunch of those Scourge there too. Shine really starting to fall apart here in this series, guys. I don't know what to say anymore. I feel like if he had those Scourge in the main base, he over here, he sent them. He saw the dropship, right, with his... Uh, oh, that's a good use of the Scourge. Damn, good triple, triple kill there on the, the 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 science vessel but man if only he'd caught those drops coming in to the third base just imagine how much better his position would be right now but he wasn't able to stop that now he's heading up towards the top right wants to get a base going over in that location dark swarm gonna come down to help this one last ling clear out the marines here Plus one is done on the armor. Plus two is done for the Marines, though. Marines shoving forward once again. Does he have a plague? He should be able to throw down a nice plague. There's a good plague on the science vessels. And unfortunately, these defilers are all going to get plagued and pushed back. This is painful right now for Shine. He's going to lose his Nidus. Why is the Nidus there, Shine? Why is it not back here? That is wild to me. Coming in for some kills on these vessels. One, two, three kills on the vessels. Really nicely done there by Shine to pick off some vessels and keep himself rolling in this game. He's still got a hundred. Still has a hundred uh, supply. What the heck was that? Throw down your Dark Swarm at least while we're there, Shine. Might as well keep that alive. A little bit silly. Lurker's pushing out here. I'm not sure where he's going with this, but he really needs to get a fourth base going. So he's heading up towards the top right, bringing a bunch of units up here. Maybe bring Lurkers up there as well. Looks like he's dropped a hatch in the top left. Oh, this is a sneaky move. He's going to try and get a Nidus over here so that he can take this base in the top right. I mean, it, that's one way to do it. That's one way to do it for sure, but it is not very fast. It takes a long time to get that done, so... By the time that Nidus is done and the hatchery is finished and the gas is actually mining, I think we might see JYJ with just kind of an unbeatable army. You know, 200, 200 completely maxed out. Tanks, uh, vessels, everything bearing down on the Zerg in multiple different locations at once, just kind of pulling him apart. We'll see if that ends up occurring here. Ling's going to run forward, clearing out a lot of these Marines and Medics. A good engagement here with the fire bat, but Lings will clear that. Plus two armor being done. Evens up the upgrades here for a few moments. Ultralisks being uh, produced now. Three on the way, but only three gas available. You're not going to be able to make that many ultras. I guarantee you JYJ is going to have enough to fight that. He's already got plus three nearly complete so he'll have the benefit of a upgrade advantage here in this next fight oh gets one nicely done and he might be able to force a fight here oh god are we gonna see a eraser trick wow that's a lot of ir irradiate here on a ton of lurkers getting so much value taking the tax the tax on the Zerg here. Using all of his energy. Just getting rid of a ton of lurkers in this space. He actually is only mining on one. He, he irradiated one drone. And he hasn't put another drone back onto that uh, onto that geyser. So this is a real problem now for, for Shine. He really needs to get that operational. Another Dark Storm should come down here. Ra irradiate comes down. Oh man, are you kidding me? Shine is actually gonna, Shine is gonna fall apart because of this man. He's losing so much mining from this base. He's losing so much mining here. He's gonna start to set this up. He's got some units over here. He should be able to th drop a dark swarm to hold off for a little bit longer. Oh god, he's coming through with the eraser trick on these lings. He's gonna get rid of the lings here. We don't see anything else over here for 
uh, shine. He needs to go through this Nidus, save this base. If he loses his base, the game is 100% over. Ling's gonna get underneath there. Dark Swarm gonna come down. Maybe he can clear these. JYJ not quite paying attention there, so he will end up clearing this and getting his fourth gas operational. But again, only mining two drones off of this gas. It's so painful. Another great plague there, hitting all these science vessels. If only he had something that shot up over in that location. Dark Swarm comes up. Ultra can block that ramp for an inordinate amount of time. We do need to see some lurkers come forward though. Lurkers or something, more Ultra, more Ling gonna be sent through to save. This Ultra will eventually go down. We really need, oh, there's the, the Eraser Trick. Eraser Trick here, dealing damage to these drones. Oh, where are we gonna, oh my God. I sent them back too early. He was holding the drones over here, but he sent them back too early. And now we're gonna bust through this area too. Another Eraser Trick comes down. Just not enough gas overall for Shine. He's been denied a little bit too long. And JYJ is just running roughshod over him now. If only he had one Muta to deal with all of these low HP science vessels. There's like eight science vessels here that have one HP or three HP. And he could easily clear them all out with just a couple of uh, mutas, but he just doesn't have it. Here we go. There's the muta. This muta is going to have a lot of kills by the time this is done. There's still two more that could be shot down here, but he's not able to get them. And he will be pushed back. Another force coming up here to the top right. I think this is the breaking point here. Shine going to get shut down. Just doesn't have what it takes right now to, to, to stop this. 179 supply is so much supply for the Terran. To be fighting back against that nice D matrix there on the fire bat because he knows that there's going to be a ton of lings fighting in this defense. He knows that fire bat, a D matrix fire bat is going to be worth so, so much here. Eight kills on that. Some scourge do pop out, but it's not going to be enough. Some more lings and ultras making their way up here, but we really need to see them sent through the. Nidus Canal, there we go, more popping through now finally, we are on 5 armor, so the Ultras are fighting pretty well, gonna run up and actually shoot down the Nidus, oh god, these links are not moving, Nidus Canal is gonna end up going down, that's brutal, brutal damage, looks like this Ling probably gonna get that Marine, oh, it's so close, but it actually survives, these Ling's gonna go ahead and fight here, oh, can't believe he's still microing these one one or two marines here in the main he's actually microing to kill off more drones meanwhile he's at almost max supply fighting all around the map taking more bases jyj is just so impressive as a terran player man the ability to micro even these few small groups of marines and he's really uh, Clutch situations here. So, so impressive. More science vessels gonna come up. A great plague on a lot of this bio. And he actually hasn't broken top right yet, but he stopped it from mining, which is actually uh, just as good, right? We're gonna run out of gas here. This is depleted now. We're at 2230. So we have to get this other gas online just to have three gases operational. We absolutely need this rolling, and he's only got one drone on center right. No. Oh my god, this is so bad. Shine. How did this happen, my dude? We need these gas miners going. Like, I know there's a lot going on on the map right now, but nothing is more important than getting this gas mining. Absolutely nothing, especially when we have BCs hitting the field. You need so many Scourge to be able to fight them off. He's just not going to have it here. He's not going to have anything to defend this. One Ultralist on the ramp with 11 kills. A single Lurker going to come up here. That'll be irradiated and taken care of very, very quickly. Ah, he does lose the Defiler as well. The Defiler goes down. It's gonna, he did get one spell off, so I guess it's better than nothing. But losing the Defiler right now is so, so painful. He's probably going to lose his base. I can't believe he's only mining one drone here on this geyser. Taking Burrow right now for whatever reason. 
Like, that's what he needs here. That's going to win him the game. A little bit insane. Looks like he did pick off one Battlecruiser with some Scourge, but still another Battlecruiser here. Going to eventually deal with this Extractor, and the Extractor is just so important right now. It's like the most important building in this matchup. Can he kill it? I think he is going to get that. And with that, only one gas going to be mining. A desperation counterattack here to the top left. Not going to be getting too much done. Just a couple of ultras sneaking their way by to deal some damage to this command center and then die valiantly. Ling's here fighting, but no mining this gas is all that needs to be done. There's some paddle cruisers here in the natural as well. Depleted geyser. Not really the greatest target, but hey, whatever. Getting rid of a bit more gas for the Zerg player is going to be good enough for JYJ here. Shutting him down. Totally maxed out 100 supply differential here between these two players now. JYJ pumping out Marines like an absolute madman. The triple battle cruiser heading across the map as well. Look at all this production here as he maxes out. Looks like he might not be able to get up here, but he's shutting down drones. He's not allowing this gas to be taken. He's going to come up here and maybe do an, an eraser or something. Just checking for a defiler. He's not going to find a defiler here. Oh, that's a couple of lurkers. A couple of lurkers? Yeah, two lurkers underneath a bunch of lings. So you can't actually irradiate that but you can irradiate the middle ling here and that'll kill all the other lings so that's not very good it's not 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 optimal you could also like uh, do an eraser trick here as well that would work gonna kill one more vessel here really a valiant fight from shine but with this gg should be called and there it is gg is called we just don't have the gas to remain in this game. So many mistakes from Shine here, man. So many, so many mistakes. It's uh, it's a little bit frustrating, man. I feel like I'm watching some of my own games here with the amount of mistakes that are happening. Shine, I mean, how long was he only mining on with two drones and then later with only one? So much more gas. He was really fighting well. Uh, and taking good trades with the Lings, Defilers, and Scourge, like picking off science vessels all the time, getting the big plagues on everything, but just not having the economy behind it. It's a little bit rough. We're going to jump into game number six. All right, the sixth and final game here between Shine and JYJ. I'm sure that at this point, even these two guys are getting tired of meeting each other on the ladder. Six times in a row is pretty ridiculous, but it does happen at the highest levels of play there's not a whole lot of people you know in that upper tier that high tier of s rank so they know each other intimately they've played each other many a time and they often run into each other on the ladder and jyj he's just been crushing so far only lost one game so far in this series What's he going to pull out here on Tempest, our final map? Again, every map has been different in this series. We've seen a wide variety of strategies from both players. Although this time it seems like Shine has really been focusing on his Mutalisk Micro and Control. The one game he was able to win was based solely off of that. That overall control has carried him through into a good position in a lot of these games and he almost managed to bring himself back from a losing position earlier in the series with some great micro control but jyj proving to be a very very formidable defender and uh and just overall terran player in this matchup and going for a pool here so over Lord into a pool with a gas on the way as well. Wow, this is going to be something else. Very interested to see what uh, Shine brings out with this one. He's finally getting back to his old tricks here. Pulling out an interesting build that's going to give us 
you know, something exciting in this early game. What it's going to be, I'm not entirely sure just yet. I guess it's probably going to be speed to start things off. And we'll see where he takes things from there. The barracks here in a very interesting position on this high ground. Not sure I've really seen that barracks positioning before. I would think if you wanted to go here, maybe you could go like barracks here. Well, there's still that gap on this side. Maybe you can put the barracks here. Supply depot, supply depot, and have one gap there. I'm not 100% sure, though. We have four links moving across the map. Three links, excuse me, with one chasing this SUV here in the main base. Command center coming up here on high ground. Just the three Marines. JYJ feeling confident that he can block these three links with that. We should be able to do so. Just some really good splitting from JYJ. And he will be able to kite those Zerglings to death. Keeping this SCV alive is tantamount right now. He has to have that knowledge here on what is popping out of the eggs at this point. Are there more Lings on the way or what is going on? Looks like he's moved out. Managed to snipe one Ling there. These links are very important in this early game, and it's forcing out a sunken as well. I gotta tell you guys, this is painful. This is a painful sunken. You, you make this sunken with your eyes closed, man, because it's just so, so painful. Trying to come up this ramp. He sees the sunken colony almost done. He just backs away. Perfect. Perfect, perfect play from JYJ. You never want to make that sunken, and especially not if you went for an overpool. As Zerg. It's just so bad. So Shine already in quite the deficit here. Just from his own opener. I thought he was going to come with something a lot more well prepared. A lot more uh, interesting. I thought he was going to chase down that early SCV and get rid of it. So that he could hide something. Some sort of tech here. But everything's pretty well been revealed. And JYJ just in a great place. With some... Very standard Terran opening. Only pumping off of one barracks here. Has managed to get himself a very healthy number of Marines. He's also got, I think this is a, a engineering bay back here. So he's going to have that plus one going. He's getting his second racks very soon. Just a few lings here and hardly any drones are available for Shine with his Spire about to finish. You really want to get up to like that 24 or 20, at least above 20 drones. You want to, you're, this is about the right supply here, but we have to remember the lings are out on the map as well. Yeah, you want to get past that 20 drones so you can have uh, one drone at least on each of these patches. And that way you're able to produce full time off of these uh off these hatches just mutas and overlords and you can also afford to send out a drone to s take another base as it stands here we're going to start eight mutas and plus one attack and we're just not going to have the money for another hatch here for quite some time uh, as long as we continue to produce mutalists we're just not going to have that so this is a really uh, standard Except, like, the opener was not standard, but it's a very standard two hatch me to play. Where you're just really hoping that you can get some good damage done here in the main base of the Terran player. And here he goes, going to come in on top of this first turret. Not able to pick that off. Not the greatest first swipe here from Shine, even taking some damage on the way out as well. This is not looking good, but he's still got a good group of mutas here. One of them pretty badly damaged. We'll see if that ends up getting targeted. He's going to come into the top part of this base once again. Going in behind the mineral patches. But there's already a turret there. Again, flying in with a Mutalisk here that's uh, being heavily damaged as it flies through the turrets. Two Mutas go down right away. A third? Oh, man. I think Shine is just about done, actually. Are we serious? Flying through these tur turrets as well on the way out. He loses so many Mutas here. There's the third base on the way now, but it's not a very defendable third. It's much better if you can take it up here on that high ground. But he doesn't have the ability to do that right now, I guess. Now coming into the natural once again. 
three. All there is is just Mutas in production. He's going to dive here on top of the Marines and turrets. Lings are doing a pretty decent job. And it looks like we're going to pick off this second turret here. But the Marines already moving across the map. He's going to break the front. We've got a few more uh, sunken colonies being made. But uh, they're just not going to be in time. I think this one sunken might finish by the time these Marines arrive. And two sunkens is not going to be enough. He starts another one. But he hasn't brought the Mutalist back home. And this is everything that matters. This dive in here to the natural does not really matter. Because as long as these Marines push through, no amount of damage. We've seen it before. We've seen it before with uh, JYJ losing his command center here in the main base. Still able to win as long as he breaks this natural here. And that's exactly what's going to happen. He's going to lose control over this. But he just needs to build turrets and stay alive for a little bit longer. And eventually, he will win this game. Marines making their way into the main. Shine is out of time in this game. Going to lose here and taps out GG. And that's the end of this series. Going out with a bit of a, a stinker here from Shine. Just a little puff of a fart here as he leaves this series that's um that's a painful way to go down here in this last game i wanted to see more interesting play out of shine i wanted to see more i was expecting to see more uh, innovative ideas here and uh crazy plays crazy builds but i guess he may be saving them for a big tournament you know those you know gem builds that are going to be able to take down jyj and uh, players like him with surprise uh, those are a dime a dozen or those are not a dime a dozen those are kind of gems that you need to hold on to for when the time is right shame we didn't see any of those come out today here but I do understand JYJ just so powerful able to take down shine five to one guys that's it for this little mini series hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one